While you're on oh. your way, I'll go over the plane's beginning again, just so that we can do this quickly. Once you get there, go straight to the security rooms you were assigned to do by the company. After watching over the cameras for a little bit, start shutting off the cameras and audio system, as displayed on the camera system itself. The animatronics in there act as security, so if any wander into your office, hide underneath the desk, since they shouldn't be able to detect you at that point. However, there is a prototype endoskeleton character somewhere in the facility, so make sure that you look out for it. It should be light sensitive. So make sure that you could direct a light at it upon seeing it. Alright, I'll go over the rest of the planes again once you've gotten far enough. Let's do this. Hey guys, uh, just, uh, sorry for the little intro there. Uh, so, um, uh, welcome to, uh, Fat, well, uh, Fred Bear and Friends Left to Rot. Now, uh, I saw Fusion Z Gamer, uh, go back to this because apparently this game got a huge update. So I decided to check it out for myself, and, uh, yeah. So far, well, let's get right into this. Currently, I'm recording this on, uh, well, if you see a character, yeah. I remember a lot of this, but, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and play it because it's a fun game. I really like it. But, uh, from what I remember, uh, yeah, you got to just do this or something. So, yeah, I'm gonna just start with disconnecting this audio. Wait, what? Wait, who was that? Oh, nothing. Okay. I also gotta, uh, watch out for the, um, animatronics. So, basically, in this, I'm going to have to, uh, watch out for the animatronics and hide under the desk when they're there. Also, who's this right here? Hi. And, uh, Endo guy should be coming any moment now. I don't know when. Oh. Just gotta make sure I... Oh. Holy moly, that, that's like... Why does that sound like sound like a Roblox explosion? Oh, he's gone. Okay, I heard him leave. There we go. So I can just hear him come in and go out. Currently, right now, I am recording this on a on a Wednesday. Well, I'm recording this on Saturday, but. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna release this video until Monday for um well because I had recently gotten well planned out a new schedule so that means so that way I won't like be uploading a whole lot well only on weekdays is when I will be uploading. So yeah. Now we got that done. Get no answer. I should, yep, got it. Alright, room complete. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what I think this update is just to make things more HD and stuff. Hello there, welcome to the interactive control tape for Fazbear Entertainment Animatronics. I'm Freddy Fazbear, the lead singer in the group. You have to make sure that I'm heard around the establishment, and I don't mess up my performance during the show. It works just as if I'm a puppet, except that I don't have an arm coming out of me. Instead, I need to look as alive as ever. So you need to make sure I don't go dying on ya. Now, let's look at my control rig. On the control rig, you will find three main function sets just for movement in between shows. On the right side of the controller, you will see a control set for my head. Go ahead, try opening my jaw. A oh, jaw. Great. Now, on the left side of my controller, you will find a controller for my main body piece. Go ahead, try moving my body forward. Excellent. On the middle of the controller, you will find a few preset actions for me. Go ahead, make me laugh. Terrific. 
Control training is now complete. Now you should be ready to make the pizzeria come to life. Hey, well, there we go. He Good went. job. The first set of security animatronics should have been deactivated. Now, head to the storage room, which is behind the first door you see in that dark hallway. What? There's some items that we have seen within that facility from the pictures taken, so hopefully they just happen to still be there. Collect them, and try to go through the door on the right side of the storage room. Once you've gotten through, I'll contact you again. Good luck. Okay, so why does it want me go? Why is there an option go over here? Like, what the heck? Huh? Oh, it's probably for later. Alright. Well, I uh, might as well continue. So, yeah. So far, uh, this is like a really good old fan game from like. I don't know how long ago. I think the plot was where, like, I'm a robber. I gotta listen here. Because I know what to do for here. Holy crap. So I basically know what to do for here. Also this ambience. Yeah. So all I have to do is hold this button down till, um, I don't know, every 15% or so, and quickly go to the button until I get to another certain percentage. And that's basically all you have to do is repeat the pattern. So yeah, pretty easy and simple. Well, I think now you can just hear him appear. So yeah, like I because I remember in the other one you had to like find out a strat of like doing this and that every like fifteen to ten percent. So yeah, I think you just made it more easier to where you, now you just only have to hear for him moving. Oh, see I heard him there, but I didn't have to until like 85%. Also is my audio, yeah, if my audio works. Um, there we go. So now I think I can just go up to a hundred. Unless for whatever reason he attacks me, but oh I already completed the room. Alright. That was it. Welcome to the arcade room maintenance training tape. In this tape, we will be going over how to test and set the arcade machines out for repair if necessary. Two arcade machines will be demonstrated in this tape as examples of the maintenance work. First, let's test out this arcade machine. Alright, let's go. Uh, press any key to continue. Shift space to jump. Shift to shoot. Wait, I can't shoot. I can't... Wait, what? I was pressing shift and space. Looks like that game worked perfectly. Now, what? we will test out a game of questionable quality. Wait, what? I was pressing... Okay, whatever, I guess. Sneaky guy. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do for this one, but... Uh, all I remember is this game here is just, like, completely broken. Yeah, because it'll eventually just go turn into static. Oh, what the heck was that? Uh-oh, I think the arcade machine died. Let's make sure that it's sent out for repair. Great job. Arcade room training is now complete. Mm. Alright. Objective, open the vent door. Now, we couldn't really figure out what was in this room, but there should be an exit connected to the room. Once you go through the exit, then you have to find the vent. Okay, so I remember what 
Well, I kind of remember what to do for this. You have to be like... Holy! Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is like pretty tricky. I heard him. Okay. So basically all you have to do is like wind him up a couple of like five times or so. Three, four, five. See, like that. And you gotta really hear him, and you can kind of faintly uh, hear him op open the door. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah, I couldn't hear him that time, so I had to check. I heard him. It's like really faint. And, uh, yeah, that wind-up toy. Yeah, I almost died because I couldn't hear him because I was kind of commentating. But, uh, yeah, other than that, this part is pretty easy. Yeah. I heard him. Okay, back. back again charge him up he's back it's kind of weird how that wind up toy is Standing and walking in midair, hanging from like a root or something. Anyways, here's this weird exit. Oh, and now I'm kidnapped by it. Okay, so apparently uh, in the update, uh, this scene is more HD. So uh, let's press to begin tape. Device 
being fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, this tape is... So, that, yeah, that was just kind of press space to open the suit. So, yeah, that was basically just, uh, like, uh, the FNAF 3 kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty fun, I guess, to listen to. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, this weird effect on the screen. And basically, you could probably say, objective, survive the timer. Oh, six minutes. Ah, yes. The scary timer. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, if you guys do want to see uh, more of this, see more of me playing this game, please uh, leave a like on the video. And I might continue this video on uh, uh, Tuesday well or whatever because i'm recording this as a pre-video on uh wednesday but uh yeah if you guys do want to uh see me play this game on tuesday please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys